Hello fellow YouTubers and gamers, welcome back, it's BHC Game Plus here, bringing you a Medal of Honor gameplay. And right then, let's get straight into this. I'm not going to talk much about the gameplay, I'm going to talk about what's happening on Medal of Honor at the present time. But first, before you start, if you do have any of those unused tokens, it is quite simple how to use them. All you have to do is follow the instructions in the game, which tells you to go to uh, battlelog dot medal uh, yeah dot dot medal of honor dot com forward slash nations if you're already a battlefield 3 player you should be already uh, logged on to uh, battle log because it's part of the same thing so all you have to do is go on there and select which country as I'm as I'm a member of the UK I select the UK and use up my tokens so if you if you've got a certain amount of tokens you also get XP and uh, I think it's around about 10 or something like 10 tokens which or 10 or 20 tokens that gives you uh, 500 XP so best to use that so you'll get all, all that XP and also I'm not quite sure what exactly happens but uh, the winning nation at the end of the week wins something I'm not quite sure what it is right a few things happening on this game at the moment, quite a few glitches, let's start off with the glitches. Right then, um, there's quite a few glitches, uh, one of them is where you're continuously firing, even when you're not shooting, the damn gun just goes off. You can't stop it or anything like that, the only way you can stop it is if someone kills you, then you, you just reset back to normal. It's just, it's really annoying if it's your teammate and he's hanging around you, you're just going to cry out loud, you just can't get away, especially if you're falling, it's funny. Uh, the other glitch is sometimes you'll swap your weapon to your second pistol and then swap back and your gun will just disappear and you you can't see the gun and you're shooting people and you, it just doesn't work. It shoots but you can't see no gun. Um, there's also another glitch where you seem to get stuck on something in the map which isn't there. It doesn't matter where you are in the middle of the map, it could be free space and you run into something and it, it stops you dead, you can't move. <laughs> and my best uh, to be honest, the best glitch I've seen so far, and that is myself and the BHC Blues and Twos have uh, see, had this happen to us last night on this game. We disappear. All you can see is our name. I just, uh, Blues and Twos, which in front of me, all I can see is the name in the air. He looking at me and he saw exactly the same thing. You couldn't see us. The only way it had to reset itself is if you die, as usual. Everyone else can see you, but we couldn't see you. It was damn, damn weird. Right, now we're some about, going about some of the hits at the moment I don't like in this game. And more, no, not so much hits I'm concerned about. And uh, let's start off with uh, the spawn system. The spawn system seems to be very erratic. Uh, it takes, like in this game now, you can see I'm trying to go fall back, it won't let me fall back. And as you can see, I was trying to spawn my teammate, it just wouldn't let me do that. That's, all, that's what I'm talking about. It's a little bit erratic sometimes. Um, even when you spawn on your teammate, even when there's no danger, he dies and you die straight after. Uh, the another one is where you fall back on the fall point, fall back point, and apparently that's supposed to be the safest path on the map for, you, for your team to respawn in. And every time I've been on that, I've been killed. Most of the time I've been killed on the fall back position, which is really annoying. And it pisses me off right now. See, um, so I know it looks a bit like camping, but at the end of the day, I could hear him there. You shoot my teammates, so I moved. Uh, okay, okay, nice little kill you in a minute. You'll soon see it now when I use my rocket launcher. Alright, and I was saying, so that's what's hitting me at the moment. I just don't like the sponsors. So another thing is at the moment is people at the moment are just, how can we say, um, not playing the objective as usual. Uh, some of them are just going around trying to get as many kills as humanly possible. In this game, it's not happening because everyone is trying to go defend the objective or somebody's trying to destroy the objective. It's happening on this game. But normally when I've been playing it doesn't usually happen and uh, it's, it just gets me really knocked off sometimes. Well, it's, uh, I think there was another uh, another uh, thing I was worried about. Oh yes, parties. You know when you've got your safe years, two of you and you want to join into a game and play as on the team, as a fight team yourself. In theory you are meant to do that. It's supposed to happen. You're supposed to set your you invite your friend in, you invite him to the game, he joins it, you look for the game, same as Battlefield 3, and then he puts you into the game. The problem is, most of the time it doesn't put you in together, it puts you in with another person in the same team, which is really annoying. And I think, at the moment, they need to definitely address that situation. I know if you're going to take the whole platoon into the game, if you create your own platoon, I think there's 12 players, I think it's. I think it's either 10 or 12 players, if you 
uh, create your own platoon, you can fix the slots in that uh, platoon so each person can say, I want to play him. If I were playing, we'll play as a team and we're very good at a team. You can go in and put each person in each slot and fix them there. That's a good point. Unfortunately, when you're trying to join a game, it's just two of you, it never, uh, most of the time, it always seems to put you in different fighting routines. They need to sort it. If that's happening and you're joining the game, it's, oops, I, I pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> Um, it needs to be sorted, okay? Uh, yes, you do have... Uh, you can change your controls for this game. You can change it if you want to have this... If you're a Battlefield 3 player, you can change it to have the Battlefield 3 controls. But the only problem is, my, for some daft reason, my controls are all, uh, is, my control is always sensitive, and all you do is move your stick slightly in the Battlefield uh, battlefield layout, and it drops it. You just drop the pole. Pro? Pole? To prune, and it gets me killed too often, so I've had to change it back uh, to the default class, which means it's a lot better for me. But I did like the um, my, uh, the melee attack on uh, Battlefield 3 because all you have to do is use the top uh, trigger button, which is your grenade throw normally, and it kill people. So hope I'm hopefully in the game you'll be able to customize the controls to what you want. I think that's what they should be. But you never know. Right, and this game will be coming to an end very soon. It's not a very long game. We do kick ass, we win, uh, destroy every objective. I sat off so well and then died. <laughs> I died a few times at the end, as you can see. But until next time, it's me, BHC Impulse, saying good night. Oh, oh but one thing more. If you still do want to join us for a game of, uh, of um, oh, Medal of Honor, Please send myself or Blues and Twos a message saying you would like to have a game and we'll add you in to more members as long as we can get 12 players and think we could play as a good team. So if you want to join us, just send us a message. I'll, I'll add uh, Blues and Twos channel into the annotation on the top left hand side. But until next time, as the game is just about to finish and we're winning, it's me, well, saying good night.